This is part 18 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to update an existing resource that is implement HTTP put in ASP.NET Core REST API. In our previous videos, we discussed how to retrieve the list of all employees, a specific employee by ID and how to create a new employee. In this video, we'll discuss how to update an existing employee. To update data, we use HTTP verb put and this is how the URL looks like. In the URL, we pass the ID of the employee whose details we want to update. Here is our employees controller. Within this, let's include another method so we can update an existing employee. This is also going to be a public async method and it also returns task of action result of employee. Basically, the updated employee object will be returned to the client. We'll see that in action in just a bit. Let's call the method update employee. To this method, we are going to pass two parameters, the ID of the employee whose details we want to update and the employee object itself which contains the changes. Remember, it is the HTTP put verb that we use to update an existing employee. So let's decorate this method with HTTP put. We also want to pass the ID of the employee that we want to update as a route parameter. And we know employee ID is an integer. So let's also use the int route constraint. Next, as usual, let's include a try and catch block. And within the catch block, let's copy and paste this 500 status code and then change the error message here to error updating data. Now, remember the ID value that is passed in the URL is automatically mapped to this ID parameter. So we want to compare this ID value with the employee ID value on this employee object. So if ID not equal to employee object employee ID. So if this condition is true, something went wrong and we don't want to continue updating data. Instead, we want to return a bad request with the message employee ID mismatch. On the other hand, if the IDs match, we want to check if this employee row is still there in the database. For this, I'm going to use the injected employee repository. On this, we have get employee method. To this method, let's pass the incoming employee ID and this is an async method. So let's await its execution and store the result in a variable. I'm going to call this variable employee to update. If this variable is null, that means we have not found the employee that we are looking for. So return not found with the message employee with id equals whatever is the incoming id not found. If we have found the employee, let's use the employee repository again and this time call update employee method and to this let's pass the incoming employee object. This is also an async method. Let's await its execution and finally return the updated employee object. Now, if we take a look at this update employee method within our employee repository, notice this method copies the changes we have in this incoming employee object into the employee object we have found in the database and then calls save changes. Finally, it returns the updated employee object back and then our employees controller is returning that employee object back to the client, that is to the caller of our API. So with all these changes in place, let's run our project and quickly test update functionality using Postman. First, let's issue a GET request to this URI slash API slash employees slash one. This returns us employee details whose ID is one. Let's copy this entire employee object and then issue a PUT request from this second tab. Notice again in the URI, we have the ID of the employee 
whose details we want to update and we want to send the employee object using request body so select raw and the format is going to be json so let me paste that copied employee object here and change the name of the employee to john with an h and last name to hastings and let's also change his email to contain the letter h and then send this request request completed and if we take a look at the response notice the status code is 200 ok and we got the updated employee object back now if we issue a get request to that same employee again we get the updated employee object that's it in this video thank you for listening Thank you.